All right. Problem with OxyDry, and here we are. I've put the larger pad driver on. I think I like it better. The machine feels a little bit more, um, hmm, firm, I guess you could say. Um, anyway, this carpet is actually pretty soiled. Not here, but where I'm about to go to in a sec. This way. The little doggy has been peeing, and there's lots of stains over here. I pre-treated it, of course, with uh, suspend with CLO2, um, stabilized CLO2. One of the things about the CLO, sta stabilized CLO2, of course, is that it uh, is a hospital grade. Sanit uh, so it's a soft surface sanitizer and a hospital grade disinfectant. So um, it will be killing all germs, bacteria, and viruses on contact on the carpet fiber as far as the solution will reach, as long as I have enough. And uh, get it going onto the carpet. And I'm running at about 1000 ppm, which is normally about enough. If I increase it, then if it was a you know, more more uh, necessary than I can increase that. I would go up to 3,000 ppm. But you can see this is going really well. See how I, uh, I'm really glad I put this tank on with the light because I can see things so well. And I'm able to get into the edges and the corners and the, the fiber pad is hanging out the edge a little bit so I can get right up to the edge without any problem at all, obviously. Trouble charge. <laughs> so this is three hundred RPM. I'm feeding down a little bit of solution because the carpet was feeling a little bit dry. Again, it's about really being careful about the uh, what you're applying solution-wise and making sure you've got the exact right balance so that takes um, a level of skill and attentiveness, but uh, once you get it, you really, uh, you get it, and it just makes you a more skilled operator. But that's why um, using the rotary is not for the amateur. 
to really be good at it when you're shower feeding particularly it does require you to really be focusing on what you're doing because there's a, a fine balance here so I wouldn't say that if you're gonna have employees you hand them a rotary as they go to work that's where the OPs are a better choice because they're simpler well, at least as far as being able to hand it to an employee and you know especially the wheels down type in a commercial setting just point the machine hit the spray and start walking basically but that's not the case of the rotary there's definitely a um, um, much more of a learning curve that goes on with the rotary to get really skilled at it but, so it's not for everybody, I get that okay, get right on to the edge, just like that, isn't that wonderful I'm going to take a look at the pad Oh, I can feel it binding a little bit. It's too dry over here. As soon as I feel it, I can add more solution. I'm going to react to what the carpet is telling me, as it were. I get feedback up in the handle of the machine. I can feel what's happening on the carpet. It's uh, really quite, well, pretty cool, actually. Oh, this is going to look fantastic. Okay, let's go back to the top of the steps. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.